All right, so we're back with the Outer Worlds. I was getting ready to do one of the DLCs that's available. And it became available when I hit Stellar Bay. They have a recommendation of level 30, which is 10 levels lower than what I am right now. Um... So, I'm not sure if we should do it. I mean, we got it started. We watched the intro for it. We got the mission to go. But, man. Level 30? That hurts. I'm not very confident about trying to hit this at level 30. If... Or at level 20 when their suggestions level 30. Um, and it's the second of the two DLCs. Barrel on Gorgon. Except we need to clear some stuff out on We we have to basically finish up monarch before that opens up but that's 25 or higher so i say that we just finish a monarch what do you guys think huh? yeah wouldn't hurt we could do it that way was a big side about doing a DLC but I think I went on for like forever but um yeah yeah that, that, that that's kind of a push if I was level 25 yeah I'd brave it five level gap isn't that bad in this game. 10 level gap though. I don't know. Alright. So let's. Yeah. Let's see what we do do. Do do do. Is that we uh, take a little trip. Around Fallbrook. Why not? Let's do that for now. We'll at least gain, gain a level. I'm um, just exploring Fallbrook. We'll get a mission to push up further into Monarch. Yeah, I'm really feeling like I should at least finish Monarch and go on to uh, go on Gorgon DLC first <laughs> before I hit a. Uh, the murder on Idios. Idios. Adios. E -a -do -um. So. Let's do that. Said you docked three days ago. I remember the original review playthrough you seen Arthur of today? this. It was nah, right here. Time I saw him with... Coming right in through here in Fallbrook. Really neat look. So we talked to that guy. And we're going to oh, start checking back buildings make sure they aren't hiding nothing and we'll go up the left side to the end go up the left side back to the front this guy freaks me out by the way he really does if I remember yeah Nelson hello Nelson 
Take a gander at that mug. Yeah. I ain't never seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Adept looking, huh? This guy taking a snipe at your looks? Ah, oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Nope. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might no. I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. <laughs> I love that. Did you just say wink at me instead of actually winking? Don't believe I did. No. Wink. Pure and simple, it's <laughs> like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. It's me winging. There we go. I'm gonna lie to him, because I can. Stroke of genius. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. Okay. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate them and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it back. And with some charm, make it 35 plus. He sampled goods. You got a deal. A wink. <laughs> 30, 35 percent? Yeah. Are you, are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Margellans, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so I'll agree to it. But not half a percent more. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. All right. So, nice little side mission. Yeah. yeah, that's all stealing and exposed. But if I remember correctly, Look at that. All kinds of things to take. No. Things like this, you can get in the right position, just hidden behind this rock. Where you won't be seen when you take it. See? And you kind of have to push... Oh, the bin's empty anyway. Now, when I've played this before, I've tried to find every little chest. Nope, I'm not going to do that for you guys. I'll, I'll find the chest, but if it's stealing, I won't exactly open them. Just to save time, because you can just... Things like this, you can just get down to the right position. Where everybody's just not quite looking. Little blind spot and get these things. But as I said, that takes a lot of work. You guys don't want to spend all that time for me to get just extra ammo when I have an S ton of ammo anyway. Right? Ooh, but I do want that barrel. Can I get that? No. Maybe. There we go. See, as I said, you can find blind spots for a lot of things, but you have to kind of really pay attention, be in the right spot where nobody can see you. And sometimes that's a lot of, yeah. But the Flintheim barrel I wanted. Because I think I ended up selling most of mine. Clint. Clint. 
clothes. Oh, people. I'm going. Stand there so you don't open the door behind me. Say this much easier. <laughs> just, just walk in the room and raid it that way. Can't get those watches? Hmm. Put my gun away. Oh, I've been playing Mass Effect. Now I always push the holster button, end up throwing a grenade, and trying to bring up the menu. I always hit a button that makes me draw my gun, so I'm just constantly drawing my gun, throwing grenades. It's horrific. You recent records. I want you to stand right there or come in one or the other see one door come in Drives me insane when they do that. And somehow that is not working correctly. Be right there. Right. Because I'm not sure, but I believe somewhere out there there's a keypad. And I wanted to. Why? Why can't I use my thing? On my way. Making my way there. There we go. Because I was using it wrong is the answer to that. Ugh. All right. Just go back in here. That is an important. I want to pick that off because that's experience. That's more important to me than anything else. <laughs> Give the XP. All right. There we go. We talk to her later, I believe. For Welcome mission. to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. Yeah. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. <laughs> dullness of mind. Some people, but no one in this office, I assure you, might call it stupidity. <laughs> Obviously too common an ailment for insurance to cover. Actually, I believe it what in this world. What kind of world. insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy oh. one, get one half off. <laughs> Is that a deliberate pun? Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured Good. unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Huh. 
That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. Well, in fair enough. In the unlikely enough. event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and reputation. Disastrous marriages? Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. There's one for your beloved eloping with your sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous <laughs> rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child. We try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. You know, it feels almost like gambling. I'm going to get married, but I'm going to lay odds that there's going to be a secret love child. So I'm going to take out an insurance policy on that. It happens, you get the payout. All right? I don't know. And the eyebrows? Usually character actors or corporate okay. execs with menacing stares. Oh, there you go. One thing's for sure. You won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. Fair enough. Okay. Guys, sure. hang out here and do some quick looting in here. Oop. door that I just picked is this door right here um I believe that you can steal the key from her if you get back here and first have a mechanical to disable the robot and then you have to get down and sneak in behind her and lock pick because I believe that robot will catch you or not lock pick, but pickpocket. Same thing. <laughs> um, so, but I believe you can get a key to that door that way. I believe. Can't remember. Um, this. Come back later. But better yet, not at all. Now is not a good time. It's important. Uh, try again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have to do something else before that door actually unlocks on its own. Okay, anybody looking? Yeah, we'll risk it. You know, this... You get the key for... from... The head lady in charge. Those are way out in the open. And you have to do it. It's all ammo anyway. This. The creepy guy with a mustache. This is where you finish up his mission. Anybody else? Anything else? Alright. And then there's piles of drugs. In here that you have to find and pick up. Off of dead sprats. Sprats here are orange. It's always kind of weird. I did notice that different places have different color sprats. There's green ones, there's white ones. I believe there's blue ones. I can't remember if there are or where. 
but hey, the idea is there. We, meanwhile, get to get our loots on. There we go. So we retrieved all of Nelson's illegals, whatever call it, and we can go back up and down. These are all on the open, right next to some people. It's a good way to get caught. Um, let's make sure my guns are reloaded. We are going to run up and talk to Nelson. Because after we talk to Nelson, I believe that opens it up so we can get in there. Hey, Dad. Knock, knock. Yeah, Nelson. Did you find him? Nah, I'm not going to use those kind of consumables. I'll just sell them. Want good news or bad news? Just tell me straight and don't hold back. I can handle it. Um, got your stuff, but your carriers are dead. Sprat can always be replaced. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is per. This is only half. Are you... You think you can steal from me? Oh. Get a hold of yourself and punch him in the eye. Yes. Ow! Damn it, that hurt like the blazes. Okay, okay. All right. You didn't <laughs> take it. But someone did. Search Fallbrook. Either half the Sprats got loose on their own... Or there'll be some evidence pointing to the soon-to-be-dead snake who filths my carriers. You want your cut? You get me the rest of my drugs. No matter what it takes. Okay. I do believe we get another chance to punch him in the face. <laughs> punch him in the eye again. After this. That's fun. Get your See? witchy whiskers back here. Don't you run out that oh. door. It's a cruel world outside. Close the damn door. You'll let my straps out. I didn't open the door, Vegas. You. Oh, can I do that? Can I pickpocket him without? You. Damn it all. Now look what you've done. It'll take me ages to round him up again. Don't care. State your purpose or get out of my face, domicile intruder. Okay, fair enough. I need to get testy. There is plenty of need. Yeah. I've got an animal rescue service to oversee, and it ain't easy. Lots to do. Got a multitude of sprats to spay and feed. Okay. Like, did you rescue a few from the sublight tunnels? Day in, day out, they ran their little route, getting picked off along the way. What was I to do, turn a blind eye? Malin's an animal lover. If you won't hold my actions against me. Look, I don't care if Nelson sent you or not. You won't be hurting a hair on any of these sprats' heads. I've killed vicious beasts for them. I ain't afraid to take on a human. Yeah. Back out of this domicile, hands up, 
or become sprat food, intruder. Nope. Not going to go down that way. Look, I actually have a medical high enough. No need for visa section. Sprats possess a rapid digestive system. You want to dig through sprat droppings? Be my guest. Get your drugs, then get lost. Yeah. Same. So, kind of gross. But hey. And I need a fit. Here's the fifth. And because he's out and around the corner, we'll get a quick glue going. There we go. Look at that spread. Such a big big space rat. Oh. Okay. And we'll run back over here and be like, there you go. Here's your poo covered drugs. Got the goods? Cause I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. Oh, he just did the wink thing. And punch him in the eye. Ow! What the? What was that for? For good measure. Wink at me one more time. I dare you. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Really. Wink. And punch him in the eye. We were joking. If this swells shut, I swear I'll nothing. I am not gonna do nothing. Don't punch me again. <laughs> Please don't say give you, you a perma wink. Though you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs, and I'll be more than happy. Okay. So, got him right here. You do? I mean, you do. Of course you do. What did I tell you? Sure. Fire delivery system works almost every time. Yeah, kind of didn't work. Yeah, great. Pay me. Right, right. In my excitement, I very nearly forgot. <laughs> ha ha. As promised, you're cut. Plus a little extra to show my gratitude. Now, if there's nothing else you need from me, I must go inventory my goods. Do I yep. have questions? I won't even hit back. Wow. You're either an extremely important person or slated for a slow and torturous death. I do hope it's the former. Either way, you'll find Miss Catherine Malin straight back in Malin's House of Hospitality. All right. Yeah. There we go. We we don't need to talk to him. Sure it is. Him. Wink. Yeah. We're we're done. <laughs> Thumped the wink right out of him. All right. So we're going to run down here. We have another conversation to have, actually. Yeah. I have the good vicar with me, so... This is one of his uh, companion missions. Back here. Hello. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. Yep. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? 
Oh, Never it's... worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Oh. Um... He's a little tense about something. I can encourage him. Let's all calm down here. Yeah, and this guy don't look like no scholar. What's up? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. Oh. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Oh. Look at him. He's just angry. Just an angry priest. Well, maybe he just didn't know it was in French. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Okay. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. That's great. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Information first, beat wait, second? Wait, wait. I know who can translate the book for you. There you go. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. <laughs> but by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, but maybe the answer is in that book. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird okay. hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Okay. Hermit? Eh? It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. What do you say, Vic? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Okay. Well, uh, now that he gave us information, I would have let you do whatever. This is that kind of town, I mean... So, we've already been to Skrilla. That was the little asteroid planet. And we can run right back. It's no bigs. And we have a landing platform right here. So we can just jump on the ship, jump over there and uh, get that done. In the meantime... Little under the waterfall cave here. You can pick up a bunch of loot. Oh, that would be a landmine I almost stepped on. Almost forgot about those. Do be careful, there are landmines. Down in there. Ye I forgot. I just got lucky just now. Alright. So. I say we jump over to Skrilla. We uh, finish up uh, Vicar, or not finish up, but continue Vicar's little companion quest. And then we can come back and then we can cover this half of Fallbrook. That always sounds good.